It's on premier tasting time. I'm in the tasting room of Pichon Baron with Jean-René Matignon. And we have in our glasses uh, Pichon Baron 2015. Jean-René, we've, uh, we've known a few uh, great years together, 2000, 2005, 2009, 2010. Uh, I believe we have a, another great year uh, now. Would you like to say something about uh, this year, uh, uh, why the wine is how it is, and uh, um, what makes it special? Yes, we, we have a wine with a wonderful ripeness, you know, very nice fruit, very uh, precise fruit, with a, a juicy tannin. And I think the, we had the perfect condition during this vintage, you know, to, to produce a, a very good, good fruit, a very uh, nice fruit. So we had a, a, a very warm summer, uh, a lot of sunshine in uh, May, June, July. And uh, what does that do to, uh, to, the, to the, the personality of the wine? Yes, because of the terroir we have, uh, an exceptional terroir uh, to limit the extreme, you know, uh, this specific weather uh, gives the capacity to the fruit, you know, to, uh, to be ready uh, for the ripeness. And uh, at the end of August, you know, we had a bit of rain to uh, free, free water to again uh, take, you know, the chance to the fruit to, to, uh, to go on, on the, good, the good way for the ripeness. And uh, really this uh, summer was uh, uh, exactly uh, what we need, you know, to, uh, uh, to, to be in perfect condition. What, what I noticed about this wine when I taste it uh, is first of all the ripeness. It's a very generous wine, it's a very hedonistic, pleasurable wine, but then uh, behind that uh, ripeness there's a wonderful uh, fine tannic structure and great freshness and balance. Uh, so sometimes when you have a lot of sunshine the accent is more on ripeness, but this year it seems that all the elements are, are in place. Yes, uh, after the summer we had a, a more normal condition, you know, during September, with a bit of rain, but that, that didn't affect, you know, the, uh, the, the quality of the fruit. Uh, the size of the fruit was very small, specific uh, on Cabernet Sauvignon. Yes. Uh, and uh, we had the chance, you know, to produce a wine with a, a good concentration of, uh, of tannin, without high level of sugar, good, good moderate sugar, but good, uh, everything was in good place, good balance to, uh, uh, to produce, uh, you know, uh, a good fruit and good vintage. When you taste the wine today, what, uh, what do you think uh, of it compared to some of the other great years we've known? Yeah. I think one characteristic is a, is a finish. It's a very long finish. Uh, and uh, we know that uh, only the, the great, great vintage uh, have this uh, long finish with a, a, a good, clean fruit, you know. Okay. It's a long finish, but without dryness, with a, a good juicy tannin and a, a, a very precise fruit. And really, it's a, a charm, a very charming tannin also. Uh, and for us, you know, this is a sign of a, a great vintage. It's very, when the wine is young, it's very good, very approachable, and it's a good sign. You know. well, it, it's extraordinary that uh, for a wine that's clearly uh, from a great year, uh, to be so uh, pleasurable and charming when it's young. It's quite specific to this year. Yes, it's, uh, but you know, when it's a great vintage, it's good all the time. Well, um, <laughs> We shall enjoy discovering it in, uh, as it, as it ages in the bottle in years to come.